Ladies and gentlemen, if you are looking at the box that I'm looking at right now, you wouldn't believe your eyes. The Pokemon Company itself has sent something into the channel, and today is the official release date of the most anticipated Pokemon card set of not just 2021, but I honestly think one of the hottest Pokemon card sets to ever be released in the history of the TCG. Check out what they've said. Now guys, I have not, like, I've literally not opened this. I put the camera on. I thought, you know what? Let's document the whole experience. But they have sent in this bad boy right here. It is a complete massive mystery box, I guess. Sent from the Pokemon Card Company. It's got Pikachu's tail on it. 25th anniversary logo. I mean, on here it's got Train On with the 2 and 5 for the 25th anniversary. And there's Pokemon written right there as well. But honestly, I thought for the sake of the video, let's open this up and let's have a celebration to mark the official release of the biggest set of the entire year. Oh my- Okay, this is crazy. This is legitimately the best day of my whole life. I saw a bunch of people getting these on Twitter and then this is rocked up in the- Oh, it's a postcard. 25th anniversary. But look at this, it's all of the Pokemon celebration boxes. And I had a feeling this is in here because look what was in the other side of the cardboard box. It is honestly the best flipping Pokemon Celebrations product that they have put out. This is what I've been most excited for ever since they announced the set. They put out the pre-orders. It is the massive 3D Chunky Chew box himself. Look how big that VMAX like figurine is. Pikachu has never looked more chunkier to be honest. And then you got the celebration boosters, the promos. This is gonna be an awesome video, along with all of these products. Let's unbox everything that we got sent right here, um, but let's have a quick look. Okay, so obviously, you have gotta have the ETB. This right here is the Celebrations 25th, oh my gosh. ETB, it is so simplistic, but there's a lot more detail behind here. We're opening all, this. no! Look what was behind, there's more stuff behind it. Yeah, we're opening all of this on the channel, so don't even worry, little Timmy. Just click that subscribe button, and we'll open up everything this week. I might have to do an upload every single day, if that's all right with you guys. Um, we got the Charizard V, I guess, Celebrations 25th Anniversary tin. And then speaking of tins, we've got the flipping lunchbox. This Celebrations 25th Anniversary lunchbox looks like it comes with some promo cards. Dude, to say I'm excited is a huge understatement. And then we got the boxes. So we got the Dragapult Prime box. And I mean, let's be honest, who would have thought that we were getting Prime cards again? I thought that ship had well and truly sailed, but it looks like it's back in the station. Um, that is crazy. A Dragapult Prime card, and then another Charizard. This right here is the Charizard V box, Lance's Charizard. Got the celebration packs, the boosters in there as well. But let's keep it moving, because we got a Zastian Level X box as well. This thing looks gorgeous. Zassy Level X, and are you looking at that surfing Pikachu pin? There's flipping layers to the pin, guys. Layers to a pin. But another highlight, like for me, obviously Pikachu is like well and truly one of my favorite Pokemons ever. If you thought the Chunky 2 figurine box was sick, let me just give you a bit of a montage of this bad boy right here. <laughs> further ado though guys, let's crack into what is the main attraction. This right here is what I reckon will get us the most into the celebration sort of set. It'll show us around, show us what to expect, and I am so excited. I personally don't know too much either, so this is you and me opening it for the first time. Let's start off by cracking open a Pokemon Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. Oh my goodness! This is ridiculous. So on the front, you got the 25 like logo right here. It's the 25th anniversary. It's the celebration set, right? Check this out. Pikachu tail on the top, looking good. You can vaguely see an Elite Trainer Box logo on the bottom. Pikachu tail as well. And as we swing it around, are you looking at the list of contents that's inside? That list, it's longer than the one your teacher gives you when you go back to school. So what this set is basically, celebrations. It's made up of two 25 card sets. The first 25 cards, it's all brand new, never seen before Pokemon cards, right? And the second 25 card set, randomly inserted into Celebration Boosters. But it's 25 of what Pokemon seems to be the most influential Pokemon cards of the past 25 years. And that is including the base set Charizard itself. But let's get the- oh my gosh. It's so plain Jane that you know it's official, if you know what I mean. Look at this. Okay, train on 25. 
Open this up. Look at that. Got the white sort of cardboard. Get that out. It's all got the starters in the uh, front right there. That's pretty cool. But I want to see the promo. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. It is a gold star reprint. 25th anniversary shiny Greninja in 2021. Look at that. 2021. Oh my goodness. I never thought I would see a reprint gold star in my entire life. You already know. This set right here, it is 100,000%. I don't care if this video gets two likes. I want to complete the whole thing. I've got to have a binder of it all. Okay, we're starting the video with a gold star reprint, Shiny Greninja. So that's number one. And then what else do we get? Look at all this. Look at all this. Yo, so we get 10 celebration boosters. I can't wait to open those. Um, a Darkness Ablaze, a Darkness Ablaze, Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, and a Vivid Voltage. Wow, okay, so a bunch of regular boosters, you get the uh, trading card rules, fair enough, that's stock standard. A good amount of energy cards to boost up your collection, and then you get looks like deck dividers in here as well. 25th anniversary ones? These are pretty sick, so it's the same as the packaging. Oh boys, look at these anniversary sleeves, that's epic. Okay, let me know what you think of those, I think it's pretty cool, I think anything with a 25 stamp on there is really special. Get the uh, poison and damage counters. That's not too crazy. And you get the dice. I don't know. <laughs> What's the theme? See through yellow dice and then the pink and white? I'll take it. Fair enough. But I think something I want to check out. Something, the reason why I want to open this first. It's the Pokemon card checklist. Alrighty, Pikachu. There is a reason why we've got the massive Charizard and Venusaur rug out for today's Pokemon Celebration Pokemon card checklist. We're going to take it straight to the back and let me show you some of the slappers that you can get. So this right here is the main celebration set, right? Some of the amazing cards we're going to go hunting for, the Pikachus. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. Flying, surfing Pikachu. You got the VMAX edition and everything. Zacian and Zamazenta V down there as well. This is the coolest thing ever. But that main set, it sort of caps it up here with your two full arts. They're the rarest you can get. Golden, shiny, Mew Fuller card. But randomly inserted into random booster packs could be one card out of the reprint ultra rare set. These are Pokemon cards that Pokemon deems like the most influential in the era of like the past 25 years. And they've reprinted them and popped them into the set. Obviously, one of the rarest ones you can get, that Charizard. It would be cool to get the Venusaur as well. We've got Blastoise. I mean, Birthday Pikachu, Old School Mew EX. Dude, are you looking at that? Um, Gardevoir, Delta Species, a Gold Star Umbreon. So today, we're going hunting for literally any of the Old School Bangers or some of the Celebration set. Let's get it. Alrighty, guys, so now that you've witnessed greatness, let's crack open our very first ever Pokemon Celebrations Booster. This marks Ando's first ever opening. I mean, for the rest of my life, I can look back at this video in documenting my first ever pack opening of this set. I don't know what we're going to get. I don't think it even matters because no matter what, I, I, as I said before, even if you guys don't care for it, I really generally want to collect this entire set because it's so special. It's something I am beyond excited for, and I hope you guys can feel that as well. Um, I'm just the biggest nerd ever when it comes to Pokemon cards, and the fact they've done this is awesome. Let's start off with the first booster. What do you? Th so the chance is we're not going to get uh, one of the collection type sets, but we're going to get a whole bunch of this regular set, okay? Oh wow, Cosmog's really kicking things off. All the artwork is holographic, every card, and also the amount of detail, like you can see the Substitute Doll and all that in here. We're gonna Dialga as well. These are looking so beautiful. The selection of Pokemon is unbelievable. And we got a Mew on the first booster. We're doing really well. I don't know if there's a card trick. I don't think there is. Okay, I'm definitely gonna take a holographic Mew, which isn't too crazy. I mean, guys, we're gonna Cosmog and a Dialga all in the same set or on the same booster, and that's the code card. So I guess you could just give the code card away, um, which doesn't look like it affects the ratio, and then it's just gonna be the rest of the cards inside of the pack, the four cards. It's pretty mind-blowing, like only four, wow, these are really sealed at the bottom. Only four cards per, um, per booster, and it looks like every single booster has a white and green code card. Fair enough, let's go for another one, you ready? Okay, 25th anniversary ground on. They're all gonna have the logo. That's pretty special as well. Got the Reshiram and the Zekrom back to back. I don't know if that was meant to be, but that's pretty sick. I love the old school artwork. And then 
we are going to kick it off with our first V pull. It is a Zamazin to be looking absolutely gorgeous. Man, you definitely want to buy it, I feel like, an ETB. Because, um, if you're first getting into the set. Because if you're not after the promos right, you're going to get a ridiculous amount of these boosters. Actually, let's put the V card at the back. Let's try and do a bit of a recap. Although, every card deserves to be on the recap. Because you're going to want a lot of, uh, selection. Because I feel like when there's only four cards per booster, having an ETB is very, like, beneficial. Because you can just keep going back. You can be like, alright, we got ten opportunities to try and get the special set, try and complete what we need. I'm shaking so bad. I'm so excited. Um, let's keep going. Got a Kyogre. Reminds me of that Team Aqua and Team Magma set. Dialga. Good. So, oh my gosh, I skipped one. And look at this. It is a reprint card. It's Birthday Pikachu. No way. I am so pumped up. Black Star promo. Birthday Pikachu where you can write your name so it could be Ando's Pikachu. And the attack is birthday surprise. You write your birthday down here. That is gorgeous. Look at that holographic sort of texture. It's like uh, the party popper in the background. Yo, we did it. We pulled our first old school card. Dude, this is awesome. It's got the exact artwork. I have this card in a PSA form. So exciting. Okay. You guys gotta let me know what I get graded as well. Got the Sol Galio there. Gosh, it all looks good. The art's spot on. And then we got the code card. There we go. Alright. Put you guys to the side. I don't want to damage it too much because that's going to go straight into a binder. Can't believe we got the birthday Pikachu. That's a good one to start things off. I was really happy that they decided to reprint that card. I think the Charizard's a really good choice as well. The fact that Blastoise is in this set. And just generally like all those cards are great selections. The Prime cards as well. That's so cool. Kyogre got the Xerneas in the regular set. Oh no way, it's back to back, and this time, it's the Venusaur! That is ridiculous, straight after the regular one. They still give me the vibes of like, old schoolness. It's exactly like the evolutions, um, but a little bit better. You get the 25th logo, it's on the rarer side, because you're not guaranteed these in every pack, like the old school cards. This is our Pokemon card set, guys. I pulled a base set Venusaur, how ridiculous. Holographic and everything. Now, as cool as Venusaur is, we're going to come back to him on the recap. So, there's Venusaur and a Lunala. Alright, there we go. Let's go with the code card. Very interested what the pull rate's going to be like once we've opened everything. Like, we got a Gold Scar Greninja. Gold Scar? Gold Star Greninja as the promo. So, then to get two old school bangers is fantastic. Man. <laughs> I am generally, like, never been this excited for a Pokemon card release. Ever. And it's so rare I don't get spoiled. Like, this is me seeing everything for the first time, so I'm over the moon. Okay, you ready? I think I see something. I don't know what it is. Got a ho- I thought this ho-ho was really nice. What's it gonna be? Xerneas. And then, none other. Then another- Whoa, there's a card behind- Ah, oh, it's the code guard, isn't it? Yeah, it's a code guard. Oh, I thought I stuffed it up. Another Zamazenta V. That's okay, I'll definitely take it. Looking good. 25th anniversary logo. Heavy impact. 150. Let's put you at the back. Pull rates are looking pretty decent. I mean, keep in mind this is just a celebration set as well. We also have a whole bunch of those regular boosters to crack open. I don't know how good the vivid voltage and all that's going to be. It would be pretty awesome if you got like a rainbow rare chonky chew. Um, maybe you got like a Charizard out of the darkness of blaze. You're going to be so careful opening these you don't spoil it. When there's only four cards, they can slip out. The Yalga. Looking good. Oh! It is none other than a Luxray Level X. This is the easily the most shiny Pokemon card we've got today right now. Look at this. Level X. Oh my goodness. Giving the biggest throwback Thursday vibes right now. This set is amazing. Bright look. Flash impact. They've nailed it on the head. This is so sick. I couldn't think of a better 25th anniversary. Like, look at everything. And a Mew as well. That's awesome. Okay, so what I think I'm doing, I'm like putting the... I, I almost split it evenly where we get the old school 25th sort of cards at the back there and then the new ones down here. Well, let's keep it going. We nearly run out of Pokemon Celebration packs, but it's okay because we can open up more tomorrow. It's just sad we can't open more today. Alright, open this up. I just don't want to damage any of the cards. I'm just so nervous because if we get the Charizard, like that's the... It's so hard to pull apparently. That's the one you want to get in a PSA 10. Ooh. These are really sealed at the bottom. There's the code card, and there's no card trick, which is really trippy. A Veltal. Let's go. Come on, boys. Palkia as well. Looking good. 
and it seems to be if you're gonna get a old school card it's gonna be in the third slot so it'll be there Lugia and a professor's research professor oak what are you doing you're graffitiing on my card it's now a PSA 4 buddy that's a good I love that though 3d animation or 3d effect coming out the card three boosters to go okay come on come on come on come on come on one more I know we got Venusaur how Okay, we totally destroyed that one. How fitting would be if we went and got the Blastoise? Or even like, I don't know, what else could we go for? Honestly, any of those cards are like super ridiculously special. Even the Gold Mew, I feel like it'd be so awesome out the regular set. I don't know how hard that one is to pull. I actually haven't seen too many photos at all with that one. So I've got a feeling it might be, oh my gosh, on the tricky side. I think I saw something. <laughs> Wasn't the Gold Mew, but I... <laughs> I think it's a full art. Lugia and Ho Ho on that booster, and then Palkia, followed up by. Look at that! I knew I thought, dude, it was Professor Oak coming the whole time. We saw him with the 3D effect, and look at this Professor's Research full art card, aka Professor Oak with a haircut looking absolutely smicko. Man, that's a really good start to Pokemon celebrations. I'm loving life. All right, so we've got Professor's Research Full Art. Put Professor, and look, it literally says Professor Oak. Let's put him to the side. That's a great start. Okay, we're getting actually a lot of stuff out of this ETB. All you gotta do is buy an ETB and it looks like you're gonna be good to go. Whoa, you can open it from the middle. It's so tricky though, because these are like only four cards, you can easily bend it. It's my only advice. Don't go ripping into these like crazy town. So we got a Lugia again. Starting to really see these doubles. Got the oh my goodness! Got the Cosmog and a Dark Gyarados! Dude, this is awesome! Okay, Ice Beam is one of the attacks. Beautiful hollow foil background. Dark Gyarados there. 25th anniversary. This recap's gonna be off the charts. And then we got the Solgaleo again. Solgaleo seems to always come after a really nice hit. Let's do it. The final celebrations. What can we get on my first ever celebrations video? Let's open you up. Get the back door cracked open, put you to the side, and there is the code card, the final one. I can't, you could probably do a co like card trick or one from the back, but we'll see. Reshiram, got the Palkia, and then, you see it, the final card is gonna be another Zamazenta. Wow, okay, we're doubling up left, right, and center. Now, a very interesting thing for me personally, celebrations all well and good, this is fantastic, but what are the pulls like in these regular packs? Do you think Pokemon Company would actually put in like ridiculous sort of pulls inside of these things after giving you the most gorgeous things ever? I don't know. I mean, there we go. Solid green right there. Let's see what they chuck in here. I'd be very interested if people get ridiculous stuff or not much at all. Got the Stone Energy. Cottony as well. Boxing Octopus. Got the Execute. Oh, Eevee. Reverse Opal. And then a Barrascooter as the regular rare. Let's get that Battle Styles cracked open. A really, really nice selection of boosters as well. Okay. Come on, Battle Styles. Give me a good code card. It's going to be another solid green. All right. So four from the back. And unlisted leaf to start things off. That's not the worst in the world. Got the uh, everyone's favorite fish with the biggest teeth ever. Got the Cacnea, Roly Coley, Frillish, Esper, Mean, Boom! And a Lorantis as our another regular rare. Chilling rain time. It's not helping my uh, thought process of giving out good pulls in these ETBs. Let's open you up. And there we go. All right. White and green. This could be good. Chilling rain's got plenty to offer. Got a fighting type to kick that one off. Then a Drizzle. Got a Melanie. Casform. Snova. Yan Mask. Got the Coughing. Shuppet. Porygon Sue. And a Weavil as the Hollow. There's our first hit out of the regular Schmegula boosters. Now we're going to end it with two Darkness of Blaze, ladies and gentlemen. Let's open you up. Solid green. All right. Let's go. Four. If we can get a Charizard. Oh my goodness. Or we can get anything at all. I think we're pretty good. I don't really care though. Like, I think that's probably the bonus. Is like, you wouldn't really care if you don't get anything because of the fun that you had in celebrations, the promo card that you got, Meltan, and a Kling Clang. Final booster. It's a regular. It's a Darkness of Blaze. Well, let's see what's inside. Ooh, let's try and not look at the code card. There you guys go. Hopefully you're getting something good out either of the code cards, the regular or the special set. We got a semi seer Rare Fossil, Doug Trio, Morlu, Wishy Washy, Q-Font, got the Dino, Panseer, 
and then regular rare Vocarona. I had a feeling that was kind of the case. Like I wasn't expecting too much, but I'm still on edge after pulling everything that we just did. Let's have a recap of our first ever Pokemon Celebrations ETB. That was so special and just epic. Guys, so there you go. If you were to buy a Pokemon Celebrations ETB, these are roughly the pulls and things you'd be looking at getting. I really hope uh, this has like absolutely inspired you to collect this set because it's 100% worth it. Check this out right here. Out of one product so far. And also, stay subscribed. We got so, so many like boxes, Celebrations things to open up. It is ridiculous. Now, it looks like these boosters are really randomly generated because... I don't think there's been a product where I've got three of the same Pokemon ever. So getting three Zamazentas really shows they're just chucking them in there. Um, or the fact that it is a smaller set, and we're gonna double up a fair bit when we're hunting for those rarer cards. But we've also got Professor's Research Full Art. That is amazing. I can't believe we got the Full Art card already. Yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Like, collecting that main set will be easy. Collecting this set will be very difficult. So, our banger pulls for today. Luxoray Level X. Amazing. We've got a base set card already, a Venusaur Holo. Shout out to my Venusaur at the back right there. Uh, literally, it's spot on, the same thing. So fitting that we got the rug and we got the holographic pole. Then we got the Dark Gyarados. That looks absolutely gorgeous. A good amount of holographic on there. And this is my absolute favorite. The fact I've got the PSA, it looks amazing. It's a birthday Pikachu for the 25th anniversary birthday set. And then a huge highlight. Gotta be the promo card. How gorgeous is that? A gold star, shiny Greninja. What do you think of that? Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm so interested. Click subscribe. We've got so many more videos coming up. Demolish the like button. Let me know if you've opened up a Celebrations Booster. What did you get? Apparently, like, Charizard's hard to get. So if you got the Charizard, let me know. But most of all, you gotta keep on gaming. All right, guys, next time, I'll see you then.